Well, Charlotte will host the RNC in just less than a month, but there is some concern now that the efforts for the city to look its best could force people living on the streets to find another place to stay. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Genevieve Curtis. Now, a lot of these homeless people are staying on property just north of Uptown near the center of the convention. And our Aaron Edwards tells us a nonprofit is now trying to keep them from getting kicked out. With the RNC coming to town soon, the group is concerned that the area right here known as Tent City will be removed. They're fighting to keep the homeless community here safe, and they're also calling on the county and city to come up with a long-term solution. If they can spend the money on bringing all these people down here, they can spend the money to on these people to get them out into a safe, safer situation. The Hearts for the Invisible Charlotte Coalition is calling on city leaders to come up with a permanent solution for those who are homeless. When a political a political group comes into town and it doesn't matter if it's DNC or RNC, nobody wants, they don't want, the public and these officials don't want to see this in their face. And that so it is a concern. But their concern isn't only about the RNC coming to town. They say the current living conditions off of North Pryon are unsafe. And now with the, the temperature being so hot, it's, it's really, really unbearable. It's, you know, creating enough dignity and humane conditions for these people that are suffering out there. You know, they're literally outside in tents made of plastic. They're hot. The coalition is now calling on the city and county to work on a solution. The group drafted a plan to present to city leaders this week. What this plan will suggest is temporary emergency housing, which we possibly have a solution to as right now. The group isn't only calling on the city to help, but also the community. The hearts for the invisible Charlotte Coalition challenges 1 million Mecklenburg County residents to donate $20. If we can get $20 from each of these 1 million residents, we can create $20 million of affordable housing in the next 45 days. We reached out to city leaders to see if they had a response to the coalition's plan. We're still waiting to hear back, but Councilman Braxton Winston did tweet out that he's looking into the issue. Back to you. All right, Aaron, thank you. And CMPD says the landowners told them they've asked for the tents to be removed by next Saturday, but police say they won't force tent camps off of private property unless someone files a trespassing complaint. And after so much back and forth, all of the RNC will now be here in Charlotte, not in Jacksonville, Florida. President Trump canceled the Jacksonville portion on Thursday. The next day, Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles tweeted that the city will stick to hosting a scaled down version of the convention with delegates only, and it won't cost the city any more than the reduced budget approved by the Justice Department.